Soy milk and max taste in women. Lots of misogyny on show. Formed the lead into a break and entering in patties. Or as Charlie puts it, a B&E, sounding like there's a B in the bar. Let the yelling commence, an irrational agenda. Max idea. The gang get to challenge police investigation efficiency. Gang are split in the gun issue. It's amusing Charlie argues against guns, this far ahead of his robbing patties. Colin is a character I'd love to see return. He's got an arch creep vibe that could have made one of the gang's more worthy nemeses. Michael Rosenbaum brings a full game. When Colin turns out to be pro-gun, D snakes to the other side of the debate. His championing of firearms is just as stupid as the gang's. We get the first reference to Gubazinos. Enter Shelley Desai. I love Wang. He screams cranky sleaze and is right up as dysfunctional as Charlie. The lighting brings out the age lines all around his face. Good grunting. Mac and Dennis can't resist the gun lure and they've bought plenty of bullets. <laughs> They're shooting a lock. It's a very subtle poke yet at our pop cultural glorification of firearms. A failed police lead launches CSI parties. Distracted by the missing gun, then Charlie with the fever. I recently encountered one of these crutch gun guys, a pathetic drunk with a Glock replica, and Charlie to Wang marks him out as a dominant asshole with ridiculous expression. One of the less remembered lol scenes in this classic is Mac and Dennis arguing over which of them is which of the Hardy Boys. Their theory that Colin is a robber is a worthy conspiracy in the sunny pantheon, and it's driven by their hetero egos and jealousy. Another sunny stakeout with Mac Dennis trying entrapment. There's something definitely off about this guy. Shoot him in the face, D screams. Dennis nearly kills Charlie. I enjoyed his reaction to the danger of his car's upholstery. Charlie's plan was to make some money and claim on the insurance. It's a terrible plan. For one, I bet the bar's not insured and Charlie has fingerprints all over the scene. D, sweet D, Cares for Charlie's plight. In my head canon she's been away from the guys for a few years prior to episode 1 and so is less exposed to their behavioural taints. The episode comes in under 21 minutes and every scene counts. It is a classic. The gang once again allow themselves to become the Ouroboros. Tail swallowing intergroup feuders obsessed with their choices so that the prize is snatched away from under their noses. Less messy behaviour would have negated some of their problems. They are Mr Chips to Scarface and back round again, spiralling down a drain. Gun Fever is a great contender in championing season one as a fine vintage. They're not as depraved as Colin, but they are terrible and dangerous. The message isn't quite as dismissive as its funnier sequel and speaks to the popular majority of anti-gun resentment. In this, it builds the characters in many, many ways. Charlie's illiteracy of accepted social behaviour, Mac's illusion of alphaness, which is stronger here, and spurs on Dennison in his war with humanity, and D, of no fixed moral abode.